Follow my key profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, money team. This is Mad Money Shots. And about the college cheese, as always, in today's video, I have an update to a defense that I've been running for a very long time that makes this defense way better. But before I do, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber here. Like, let me know in the comments section. If you need more help or more money plays, I just finished my Alabama offensive and defensive ebook, which is why I'm using Alabama. So if you guys want more help with that playbook or any of my playbooks, you can download them instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top hand comment. The defense I'm going to be using today is the big nickel over G, but the trick I'm going to show you guys you can use in just about any nickel package that you prefer i just run this one because it has a really good corner blitz but i'm not going to go over that much today since that's not the point of this video i already went over that in previous videos so if you guys want to see that i'll have that popping up on screen at the end of the video and it's also probably popping up in the top right corner right now the defense that today's video is about will once again be the cover three buzz match which is the defense that i've been reporting on since it was first instituted into the game in the september update but i showed in recent gameplay how this particular defense has a very glaring weakness when it comes to slot receivers in spread formations like this unless you make one very important adjustment which i'm going to show you guys in today's video and all you really have to do to set up pretty much every one of these defenses is pinch the defensive line which is d-pad to the left and down and you can see how it closes up the run lanes to the point my opponent can't get anything on the ground even with the best running attack in the game on third and nine though we come out in the cover three buzz mabel as this is the defense i'm going to use most of this game but you can see my opponent is already in a spread offensive formation just like the one that i was showing you from a previous game and since the deep middle safety is so far to the right a lot of times this receiver can get right up the seam for a one play score or a lot of times you can go outside on a slot fade concept making this the biggest weakness of this defense so to solve that we're just going to drop this safety down who's in a hook curl and man him to that receiver meaning that no matter where this guy goes he is going to follow and this is going to take all those away as on the very first play he tries to run a deep crosser and you can see the man defenders there the entire way as he knocks the ball loose forcing a fourth and nine and you would think you would punt away being on his own 12 yard line but this is the heisman division which means everybody goes for it on fourth down no matter what because they're afraid they won't be able to stop the other player on offense on the next play he doesn't have a receiver in that slot so i'm going to man the running back instead and the outside quarterback is essentially going to man up to the receiver in front of him since it's a matching defense that means that i can use this curl flat and basically flood the right side where all the receivers are on the field and you can see how everything is bagged as he tries to throw to somebody body and we get the ball inside the red zone. The real reason I'm using Alabama is so I can show off some plays out of my brand new Alabama offensive ebook. And my favorite formation to use right now is the Gun Trips TE, as I plan on putting out an offensive gameplay video tomorrow based off of this offense. As on the very first play, it looks like he's running a matching coverage. So I just switched to the RPO play in my audibles and we score on the very first play that we have the ball. But this guy's an absolute playmaker as he rolls out in the next play to hit his crossing receiver before he recognizes that I'm manning this safety to this slot receiver. So he just puts him on his egg, which is going to beat man coverage every single time. From here, he hits me with a motion fake screen and swings out to Judkins. And I'm just glad that they nerfed this spin move because otherwise he probably would have scored. But either way, he does get inside the red zone. Since my opponent diagnosed that I've been walking this safety down the box only to man him, I decide on the next play that I'm going to send him on a blitz instead. And he totally wasn't expecting that. As you sometimes have to switch it up and send some pressure from this look. On the next play, I man him to the running back once again. Only this time, that's a very good route as he beats him to the outside and carries my defenders forward for a first down to get a first and goal from the 10. On the next play, I'm going to make a new adjustment also where sometimes I like the hard flat, which I typically don't do because it overrides the matching principles. But on a play like this, since he only needs 10 yards, we want to play underneath as he tries to throw it out to the tight end and we get the stop. He lets it go back to the hull in the next play before trying to hit me with a jet sweep. And he tries to make a highlight reel play by backtracking the entire length of the field. Yeah. 
You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. One of the best things about this play is that people typically try to throw to their slot receivers anyway. So even if he doesn't run a slot fade or whatever concept he's running, he tries to run a corner out in the next play, this guy's still going to be all over it. Nope. As we get closer to the pick than he did to actually catching the ball. Before he goes for it on fourth and goal from the 32, rather than just taking the points, even though I missed the extra point at the beginning of the game, he's going to try to score from here. And you can tell he's trying to attack that seam, but the man coverage is taking it away as nothing gets open and we get a sack to end the drive. Loser. The new offense that I'm running is pretty run heavy. As I see, he's coming out in a lot of light boxes, so I basically just hit him with the inside zone over and over and over until I get inside a scoring range. Before he eventually makes a few plays and I have to settle for a field, goal but i'll take it as it gives me a two possession lead on defense you see exactly why you have to walk that safety down and that's because if you give up too much space pre-snap he's just going to kill you underneath so i make sure to walk that safety down every single time after that as you can see the coverage is all over him as he tries to roll out and i was hoping he didn't see that running back leak out into the flats As this guy is more of an off-schedule type of player who just basically gets by on stick work, as he makes half my defense miss with that spin move to get inside the red zone, before coming out into a gun box look where I have two slot receivers. So I made the slot receiver, but I should have used her to tight end as the tight end gets open to get him down to the one-yard line. Oops. And since it's first and goal from the one, he's probably going to score anyway, so we're going to use the pinch blitz zero and run commit, as this will give me my best opportunity to stop him inside the ones. He tries to run the next two plays, nope, only to get pushed backwards. On the next play, we come out and cover two, as I want to protect these flats, but I'm still going to man this slot receiver. As we double that receiver across the middle, and he almost throws an interception. What? And it looks like he calls a turbo adjustment on the next plays. I can't make the adjustment, but I still cut the route off. Only my guy doesn't jump and he scores anyway. Wilson. And now we got a ball game, but he did leave me 36 seconds left before half, so I do have some time to try to get some points here. So I'm going to use the PA shot wheel, which is a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game that I broke down in a video just yesterday. So if you guys want to see more about this, I'll have that popping up in the top right corner right now. And it looks like he's running a cover three, so I try to set up the cover three variant, but he follows this wide receiver all the way across. And since that was my play, I have to throw it away. So on the next play, I set up a little bit differently where I motion his tight end out and give him a little bit of a rabbit to chase with the running back on a Texas route. And he takes the bait, so I take the play that I wanted the first time. I hit a simple corner route on the next play just to get inside a field goal range before I decide to run the ball since he's still coming out in a lot of light boxes. And we run out of bounds, but when I see that light box again, I try to run the ball again, and it doesn't work out as this defensive tackle just busts right through and makes me use my last time out. And with five seconds left, we try to run a play, but I don't want to take any chances, and I just settle for the field goal instead. I get the ball in the second half also, and my opponent tries an onside kick to open the half. How about new? Giving me a short field that I make quick work of as we hit that inside zone a few more times before switching it up and hitting him with an RPO just to make sure that he's watching that as we punch it in from about 10 yards out to extend our lead to two possessions once again. Our defense starts off pretty good on the next drive as well as we get a sack to force in the 4th and 14 before I start making critical user errors like not covering that tight end who comes right into my area to let him get the first down or else we would have ball right there. On the next play you can see the matching principles are still active as we get a knockout on the next play by the matching hook curl before he starts getting some BS animations to get a first down out of nowhere. And now he's running his offense to the opposite side of the field so I can't man that safety anymore, which is probably the best adjustment that he made. Before he puts the running back on a simple streak, and I didn't follow him up the field as I thought the middle deep safety would take it, before I make another user error to miss a tackle. God damn it! Back on offense, we're almost to the fourth quarter, and I've been running the same RPO play pretty much the entire game, as he has no idea how to stop it, as it's a really simple man or zone read, so no matter what defense he runs, as long as I'm making the right read, there's nothing he can do to stop it, as I'm slowly milking the clock while also protecting my lead, and I'm going to keep doing it until he stops it. And I plan on breaking down this offense in a gameplay tomorrow, so if you guys want to see that, make sure to be a subscriber, as this play here is one of the best quarterback runs in the entire game, before he essentially just lets me score, as that's the only way he's going to get the ball back. Back. And now he's got to score twice while getting an onside kick, but the few adjustments that he made on that last drive, we're bottling up now. As we cover the tight end on the next two plays, nope, to get a sack to force him to fourth and 17. A week ago. Woo. And from here, he tries that slot fade concept one more time, but you can see it's bagged.
So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see a really good blitz to use with this defense, I'll have the video I made about that pop up on the screen. So just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.